perhaps gaining a little more structure as it now makes its way towards the Big Island and will be moving in later today. And we'll talk a little bit about the timing here. So we expect that the storm is going to come in later tonight, Hawaii time by early tomorrow morning, coming across the Big Island and then moving over towards Oahu, a little south of Oahu. And that's going to be during the day tomorrow. Right now, the winds are not that strong. They're coming out of the northeast as they typically do. Those are the trade winds that come across the islands, but we expect that they're really going to pick up later tonight. So here we are looking at Hawaii time, 6 p.m., and that is a very late tonight, our time around midnight. 50 to 60 mile per hour wind in Hilo sustained, and that means gusting to hurricane force potentially. Winds then picking up in Maui, going into the very late uh, overnight hours, and then into Friday morning, Hawaii time. 50 to 60 mile per hour wind in Honolulu, and that may continue for much of the morning as the center of the storm passes just off to the south. Now, let's talk a little bit about elevation. There's a lot of it in Hawaii, and because there is less friction as you get up and away from the ground, the winds are a lot stronger, and the result then is if we get a 70 mile per hour wind at the surface, that would equate to an 85 mile per hour wind at 1,000 feet, and a 100 mile per hour wind at 2,000 feet, and there are people who live in higher elevations there on the Hawaiian Islands. So that's certainly of concern. And then talking about rainfall, not a lot of it right now, but those very strong northeast winds are going to drive that moist flow into these mountainous areas, and that then lifts the air. And that lifting, that's called orographic lift, that produces even more rain than you would get otherwise. That enhances the rainfall, and the result, we think, is going to be several inches of rain. Look at this, talking about five to eight inches of rain in total there in Hilo. And there are flash flood watches, in effect, all across the islands, there could be double digit rainfall totals in some areas, and that could lead to catastrophic flooding and mudslides. Also, wave heights coming up with our storm. They're not terribly high right now, but we do expect that wave heights could be uh, over 10 feet as we get into uh, later today. Back to you. All right, thanks very much, Carl. Well, as he mentioned, Hawaii is bracing for the dual threat of two hurricanes. Yeah, they're coming in one behind the other. Next, we'll bring in a report from Jen Cantori on how the islands are getting ready, and it's a threat they face only once or twice a century. Wow, and then after that, it's back to the mainland, so keep it tuned right here. Currently in our area, 90 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High, 89. Chance of rain, 80%. Tonight, thunderstorms early. Low, 77. Chance of rain, 60%. Here's our seven-day outlook. is nearing Hawaii. The worst weather is expected tonight. Strong winds, flooding, and landslides are likely. Storm tracker Jim Cantori is in Hilo ahead of the storm. Jim. Hello from Hilo, Hawaii here. We are right on Kamehameha Avenue uh, in the downtown area. Of course, the worst conditions will be coming in later on tonight, but people are starting to take those conditions seriously. They're expecting winds to gust as high as 80 miles per hour, and that's just here at sea level. We'll talk about what's going to happen going up, and we'll talk about what's going on at some of the stores here locally. Stick around. All right, thanks, Jim. Meanwhile, back on the mainland, the Midwest is getting slammed by storms. Damaging winds and dangerous hailstones are the primary threats. We're tracking the severe weather into the evening hours. Weather Center Live continues right now. Well, the 
clock is ticking. In less than six hours, people in Hawaii will start to feel the impacts of Hurricane Isel. Thanks for joining us on the Weather Channel. I'm Vivian Brown. And I'm Jennifer Delgado. The Category 1 hurricane is streaming towards the Big Island. What could become a historic event? The Big Island has never been directly hit by a hurricane on record. It was hit by a tropical storm, but that was back in 1958. But as you mentioned, Jennifer, uh, behind Isel, there's another hurricane. Mm -hmm. This one, a Category 2 with winds of 105 miles an hour. Its name is Julio. So as you can imagine, people there aren't taking this threat lightly because storm supplies, they're flying off the shelves. Store owners say residents are hoping for the best, but definitely preparing for the worst. Aisle after aisle empty where items like bottled water, toilet paper, and paper tiles, paper towels used to be. Yeah, and of course, we've got Ezel and Julio covered like no one else can. Hurricane Specialist Carl Parker is in the expert area and storm tracker Jim Cantori on the ground in Hilo ahead of the double trouble. We begin with Carl Parker and Carl, just how strong is the storm right now? Right now it's an 80 mile per hour hurricane and we expect that it will be a hurricane as it approaches the Big Island. It may be one at landfall. That would be the first time in the historical record that we have seen a hurricane making landfall on the Big Island of Hawaii. And let's take a look at where these two storms are right now. Isel is nearing the islands and Julio is still a little ways away, but will be moving near the islands. We think late this weekend it may pass to the north, but could have more direct impacts on the more northern islands. And including Oahu. Now here is the latest from the Central Pacific Hurricane Center on a cell. 80 mile per hour wind. It's now moving west northwest at 17 miles per hour. Hurricane warnings in effect on the big island of Hawaii for the first time in 21 years when we did not get a hurricane landfall. Tropical storm warnings for the remainder of the islands. And here's a look at the timing of everything. The storm approaching late tonight coming into the big island, then moving across it most likely, and then early tomorrow tomorrow morning coming out and passing to the south of Oahu. So conditions going downhill there in Honolulu, we think, in the morning and continuing through the middle of the day. The storm has been incredibly resilient and it was at one time an annular hurricane. These are known for weakening a lot more slowly, despite the fact that it's been surrounded by dry air, as indicated by that orange and red shading. It's managed to hold on to moisture and form a little cocoon if you will, of moisture there and uh, has managed to hold on to its intensity. And so we do think there is a chance that it will be a hurricane as it gets to the islands. Here's a look at the timing of this. This is Hawaii Standard Time, so 6 p.m. tonight. Winds really starting to come up there in Hilo, 50, 60 miles per hour. That means gusting to hurricane force, and certainly so as you get up in elevation. Then that strong wind in the overnight hours reaches up into Maui and then gets over into Honolulu by the time we get into the early morning hours. Jen, over to you. All right, thank you, Carl. Well, as Ezel is just hours from hitting Hawaii, another hurricane, Julia, is right on its heels. It's been 22 years since Hawaii had a landfalling hurricane, but the very first time that the Big Island has ever been hit by a major tropical storm. Right now, a hurricane warning is in effect, and our Jim Cantori is in Hilo ahead of the hurricane. At least for right now, a break in the rain, but the rain and the wind expected to pick up here in Hilo as we go on through the day. And of course, tonight, 8 p.m., uh, we expect the center to come very, very close uh, to Hilo. Will this be the first landfalling hurricane in history on the Big Island? Time will tell. Time will definitely tell. Well, people are preparing regardless of the strength of this because we know there will be impacts, probably a lot of power loss, not only here in the Big Island, but throughout the entire island chain as tropical storm watches exist uh, out into Kauai right now. Let's show you what people have been doing since Tuesday, and it's mainly clearing shelves. It's getting as much as they can off of the shelves in terms of water, batteries, bread, uh, those kind of things where they know they're going to be without power for several days, and they know they have to, obviously, especially being on a tropical climate, you need water. So people have really been hoarding the water. As a matter of fact, several stores have run out of water. A few have actually even run out of gasoline as well, we understand, as people are gassing up their cars. And these are all things that we want you to do. We got a chance to talk to a resident about how they feel about Izel and Julio. We kind of uh, made, made sure everything is all locked up um, and, and buckled down. Um, we put our car all in the garage and then get the water ready, flashlight. 
And just as soon as we <laughs> take a breath here, the rains have begun again, and we're going to see more and more of that as uh, we go on through the day today, that's for sure. So I encourage everybody to get those last-minute preparations done. Now, one of the things we have to talk about here is elevation because it's going to play a key role in what kind of wind and what kind of damage we see with this hurricane. Now, if you look at the elevation, uh, certainly the islands, we're all at sea level, right? We start off at the coastline, right at sea level, but some go right up from the coast immediately. In some cases, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Thousand feet. It's a gradual climb here on the east side of the Big Island, up uh, Mauna Lea and Mauna Kea, and certainly uh, people live here. So there are entire communities sitting at those elevations. But the problem is you have an 80 mile per hour hurricane here in downtown Hilo, you have a 105 mile an hour hurricane up 2,000 feet. That's the big difference. You get away from the friction of the earth, and it's a big, big difference in through here. So we're worried a lot uh, for those kind of, fo you know, those folks that are going to be dealing with those stronger winds aloft. Time will tell us to what we deal with here and what kind of power losses we uh, are going to endure. But one thing's for sure, people are ready for this one-two punch of Izel and Julio as we work our way through the latter part of the weekend. It all begins right now. Guys, back to you. All right, thank you. That's Jim Cantori. Well, of course, stay with the Weather Channel. We'll have the latest on the twin hurricanes heading towards Hawaii. Yeah, we'll have live coverage all day and night. And of course, if you're away from your TV set, you can always stay on top of the tropics online at weather.com or on your smartphone with the Weather Channel app. That is a free app, by the way. And while Hawaii is facing two hurricanes, it's not that quiet here in the mainland. There's a chance for some severe storms. When the power goes out, be weather ready. Unplug appliances and electrical equipment before a thunderstorm. Electrical spikes and surges can cause major damage when the power returns. Get more tips like this at weather.com slash ready. Brought to you by Nationwide Insurance. Nationwide is on your side. Burn. Someone say burn. Try Alka-Seltzer Relief Chews. They work just as fast and are proven to taste better than Tums Smoothies Assorted Fruit. Mmm, amazing. Yeah, I get that a lot. Alka-Seltzer Heartburn Relief Chews. Enjoy the relief. Don't wait for awesome. Totino's Pizza Rolls get you there in just 60 seconds. Let's tackle this with a splash of style. Let's do modest budget, major makeover. Then enjoy the view. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. For a limited time, these vanities start at just 189 bucks. 50 isn't 50 anymore. Join us as today celebrates Hoda's milestone. Embrace this. Feel great about it. If that's 50, I can't wait to get there. From health and finances to love and family. It doesn't get any better than this. There's never been a better time to say, this is 50. Our special series, all this week on Today on NBC. Currently in our area, 90 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High, 89. Chance of rain, 80%. Tonight, thunderstorms early. Low, 77. Chance of rain, 60%. Here's our seven-day outlook. the Weather Channel takes you this far inside a hurricane. Hurricane 360, premiering August 18th at 9 on the Weather Channel. How about over there? What does it mean to have an unlimited mileage warranty on a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz? What does it mean to drive as far as you want for up to three years and be covered? It means your odometer is there to record the memories. During the Mercedes-Benz Certified Pre-Owned Sales event, now through September 2nd, you'll get complimentary prepaid maintenance and may qualify for a two-month payment credit. Only at your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer. Check. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. <gasps> no! Energize.
Sanitizer protects your devices from damaging leaks. It's the candy bar that's too hot for TV in all its naked glory. Stripped of chocolate with nothing but salty roasted peanuts on soft sweet caramel. A payday bar will get you through your day. Expose yourself to payday. What are you doing? Packing my lunch. Between school, homework, and soccer practice, I'm going to need all the energy I can get. Who's that one for? You. Get a smarter start to school with all your lunch favorites. Unbeatable prices, guaranteed by Savings Catcher. Save money, live better. Walmart. Well, take a look at the storm clouds over St. Louis. This was the calm before the rainstorm moved in. Three to five inches of rain fell in some parts of Missouri, and all that was in the western part of the state. And now the east side is going to be looking at that rain coming down. And we're talking St. Louis. We already had a round of that already, and it won't be just Missouri. We're going to turn it over to Vivian. She's going to tell us what we can expect from storms today across parts of the Midwest. Yeah, Jennifer, you talk about St. Louis. Since midnight, we've picked up over two and a half inches of rain and it is still a huge issue. You can see the dark gray clouds overhead, some light rain we've gotten reports of on the radar with temperatures in the low to middle 70s. Again, the beautiful city of St. Louis there, unfortunately with the gray sky. But the storm threat for the Midwest, that is the big weather headline for this region. And look at the overall rainfall totals over the last 24 hours. Again, as mentioned, we've had heavy, heavy amounts over five, almost six inches here near the border of Kansas and Missouri in Kansas City. Uh, six or 5.9 inches of rain. And as mentioned, since midnight, we've picked up over two inches in downtown St. Louis, where we still have some light mist coming down. Little pocket of dryness we had, as we saw on the tower cam, those gray clouds. But off to the west, it's raining at a fairly good clip. And you can see off to the south and east, that's where we have some dangerous storms with a lightning day a very prominent uh, just to the south and east of you, St. Louis. So dangerous here as you get on I-55. But again, it's not the best of days here in the St. Louis area. And even as we follow the cold front down across parts of Arkansas and Oklahoma, we're picking up more returns. So today, this is the region that we will watch. And even tomorrow, this whole area kind of stretches out and we'll be watching parts of Kentucky and Tennessee, even southern Illinois. By the way, Chicago, most of these storms will stay to your south, so some good news for you. Not all of the upper Midwest will be dealing with the storms because typically when you say Midwest, you do think either St. Louis and Chicago or both of the cities, of course. But it is St. Louis that will pick up some of the heaviest rain as we've already seen and just a large swath of one to two inches over the next 24 hours. So St. Louis, back to your forecast, more storms today and even tomorrow, but just in time for the weekend, Mother Nature will improve things for us. 84 degrees and partly sunny skies. Jennifer. All right. Thank you, Vivian. Yeah, they'll be improving over the weekend. But right now, Nashville, 87 degrees. You're looking at Vanderbilt University. It's always quiet at the library. Starting to wonder about you students there. All right, I know it's summer, so nobody's out there right now, but we're going to be looking at storms moving into parts of the southeast as we go into the weekend. Yes, another round of wet conditions, and it's all going to be coming from this direction. Vivian just kind of tracked it out for you. Here's our area low pressure. There's our frontal system. You can see right on top of Atlanta, and we're going to continue to see the chance for storms developing and increasing as we go through the next couple days. But we look at Missouri, and you can see that circulation just spinning right on top of Missouri with the lightning. Well, all that is going to be making its way down towards the south. Expect to see periods of thunderstorms out there as we go through today, tomorrow, as well as even into your upcoming weekend. We're talking Saturday and Sunday. But for today, more of the rain is going to be across parts of Louisiana, Mississippi. For tomorrow, we're going to spread it into parts of Florida. And then notice in the red for Tennessee and Kentucky, uh, that's where we'll look at the stronger storms out there. For Saturday, this doesn't look like much of a severe weather threat, but it's going to be wet out there. Some of those spots and the darker shades of green. That's where we'll see the greatest threat for the thunderstorms to reduce some heavier rainfall out there. We're talking to you, Atlanta, but right now in Nashville, today expect to have 94 degrees, one of the hottest days of the season. So try and stay cool out there. Tomorrow, 86 degrees. And then notice a chance of some rain Sunday morning with high temperature right near 90 degrees. And then for Atlanta, smoking hot today, high of 95 and then cooling off. Over to you, Viv. All right, thanks, Jan. Well, you know what? History in the making with two hurricanes eyeing Hawaii's Big Island. Ahead, hurricane specialist Carl Parker will join us with the latest. Stay tuned. 
So, Duke, what do you think for our new Bush's Baked Beans video game? I think I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, now pick up the specially cured bacon, hit with the brown sugar. Now, roll that beautiful bean footage. Yes! Bush's Baked Beans are slow cooked according to our secret family recipe for big flavor. High score! You get to put your name on the wall of fame. Whoa, game over. Aw, uh, you're no fun. Enjoy Bush's Baked Beans, still made from our secret family recipe. Enjoy Bush's Baked Beans, still made from our secret family recipe. What if there was a credit card where the reward was that new car smell and the freedom of the open road? A card that gave you that I'm 16 and just got my first car feeling. Presenting the Buy Power Card from Capital One. Redeem earnings toward part or even all of a new Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, or Cadillac with no limits. So every time you use it, you're not just shopping for goods. You're shopping for something great. Learn more at buypowercard.com. Your mom could do anything. Turn night into day. Conquer the globe. Stop floods. Now she could use a hand so she can keep living on her own. Comfort Keepers can help you help her. Our professional caregivers are carefully chosen and highly trained to provide a variety of in-home services while truly engaging with your aging loved ones so they can stay happy at home. Comfort Keepers, keeping the comforts of home. Call Comfort Keepers now to learn more. From coast to coast, in every state, people all across the nation are learning something new that the best way to protect their cars, trucks, and SUVs is with WeatherTech floor liners. They're laser measured to perfectly protect your specific vehicle, front, back, even up the sides. Order yours today at weathertech.com or call 1-800-CARMAX. WeatherTech floor liners, proudly made in America. 50 isn't 50 anymore. Join us as today celebrates Hoda's milestone. Embrace this, feel great about it. If that's 50, I can't wait to get there. From health and finances to love and family. So we're all set? Yep, with Xfinity Internet, your family can use all their devices at once. Works anywhere in the house, even the garage. Max, what's going on? We're doing a tech startup. We're streamlining an algorithm. What's, what's Grandpa doing? Hi. Shh, Grandpa, you don't want to be an intern forever. Sorry, Dad. We have to get back to work. We have a deadline. We're going public! The fastest in-home Wi-Fi for your entire family. The X1 Entertainment Operating System. Only from Xfinity. Look at me. Hey. Raymond, look at Mommy. Maybe the light hurts his eyes. Maybe she's just not hungry. Maybe he can't hear us. Ooh. Maybe we're not stimulating him enough. Maybe it's a phase. Avoiding eye contact is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. 800-229-4977 now. That's 1-800-229-4977 or go to growup.com. Right now, Hawaii is in the path of two severe storms. Our own Jim Cantori is live from the islands tracking this rare threat. Keep it here on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 90 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High, 89. Chance of rain, 80%. Tonight, thunderstorms early. Low, 77. Chance of rain, 60%. Here's our seven-day outlook.
Welcome back. This is a live look at Kauai, Hawaii. And right now it is 6.20 in the morning. Looks good there. But the problem is we have a hurricane by the name of Ezel and another one by the name of Julio. And both of those are going to be changing the weather conditions across parts of Oahu very shortly, right? Yeah, you know, it's amazing uh, how this fits into the record of things. You know, going back to 1950, there's never been not only a hurricane landfall on the Big Island, there hasn't even been a tropical storm Incredible. that made landfall on the Big Island. And it makes you wonder, you know, how the planet is changing. Yeah. And we're seeing these threats that we really hadn't seen in the past. So right. here's the latest on the storm. It's an 80 mile per hour storm. It's now moving west northwest at 17 miles per hour. It has been incredibly resilient. We've had dry air surrounding the system for the last couple of days. And yet that core has remained intact for the most part. And you see the thunderstorm still firing all around that Looks core. Better. So yeah, it's actually looking pretty good and looks like it's probably going Going to make landfall as either a hurricane or a strong tropical storm and there really isn't much difference between right. those two systems and this is the forecast track and intensities from the central pacific hurricane center looking for possibly a hurricane to make landfall late tonight hawaii standard time mm -hmm. and then coming through the big island into early friday morning then most likely passing to the south of oahu and that's going to be through the middle of the day tomorrow so in hilo we're talking about winds getting up to about 55, 57 sustained, so that means easily gusting up to hurricane force, right. and especially as you get up in elevation. Now, what's interesting about the Big Island is that it's almost 14,000 feet high. Mm -hmm. That's way up there, right. and there are a lot of people who live at High higher elevations. Yeah. yeah, so winds are much higher off the ground than they are near the surface because there's no friction. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the winds here near the ground, if they were, for example, 70 miles per hour, On you go ground. up 1,000 mm -hmm. feet, then you've got 85 miles miles per hour go up to 2,000 you've got a hundred miles per hour so if people live in these areas that are up on these mountains they are going to get stronger winds as a result of that elevation yeah absolutely hurricane force winds there all right and we also want to talk about you know the winds coming in from the northeast as well and the flooding threat there yeah so as those winds drive into those mountains what they do is they go up they are lifted by the mountains that's called orographic lift mm -hmm. and that produces even more rain than you would get otherwise that's going to enhance the rainfall and we could be talking about double digit rainfall. Ah, that's incredible. And that's just from one storm. And then you add in Julio yeah. as well. And that's going to make the situation even worse. Well, right now we're going to shift gears and we're going to send it over to Vivian. And she's going to talk more about what's happening on the mainland. All right. Thank you both. What a great analogy of everything that's going on in Hawaii. But a beautiful day. Speaking of beaches now in Virginia Beach, a lot of people here. And uh, we'll tell you why in just a moment. But first, let's track the storms uh, from New England. England down into the mid-Atlantic because the area of low pressure that we were watching with maybe some stormy conditions in New England is moving away and high pressure is building over the Northeast even down to Virginia Beach so improving conditions and it is absolutely nice today and going to continue to be nice say from New York City down to Virginia Beach and notice tomorrow now even though showers will be moving out of New England and clearing conditions expected all across the region again including Virginia Beach. And that's where our own Reagan Medji is. She's at the National Lifeguard Championship. Reagan, give us the latest there. Mother Nature is cooperating here in Virginia Beach for the United States Life Saving Association's Lifeguard Championship. So basically, if you take a look behind me right now, all of those guards are getting together, getting ready to go against each other for this huge competition. About 1,200 lifeguards all the way from Hawaii, Canada, and locally will be competing for the title. Now, these lifeguards have been training for months, not only for this competition, but to save lives and they do that against Mother Nature. Now, as you know, the Weather Channel always warns you against those rip currents out in the ocean. Well, these guards are the best defense against those rip currents. They protect both you and I. So here in Virginia Beach, this is a big event, the Lifeguard Championship this year. Who will take the win? You just gotta wait and find out. It ends on Saturday. Back to you. All right, thanks very much, Reagan. Well, you know what, a one-two punch for the Hawaiian Islands. Here Here's more. 
Some dark and stormy times have already moved into Hilo, Hawaii. We are awaiting the worst of this storm, which comes in about 8 o'clock local time, several hours away, and then a long overnight for the folks on the Big Island as we are expected to take a direct hit from what is going to be a weak hurricane or a strong tropical storm. Doesn't matter which. The point is, the impacts are going to be the same. We're talking about very strong winds, power outages, and lots of flooding. We'll talk about it coming up. You've reached the age where you know how things work. This is the age of knowing what needs to be done. So why let erectile dysfunction get in your way? Talk to your doctor about Viagra. 20 million men already have. Ask your doctor if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Do not take Viagra if you take nitrates for chest pain. It may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Side effects include headache, flushing, upset stomach, and abnormal vision. To avoid long-term injury, seek immediate medical help for an erection lasting more than four hours. Stop taking Viagra and call your doctor right away if you experience a sudden decrease or loss in vision or hearing. This is the age of taking action. Viagra. Talk to your doctor. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm on it. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You're covered, Kevin. Thanks, Melinda. Uh, wait, uh, I have blah blah insurance, so person, come help. Hey, Grandma. Dad, look who it is. I see who it is. Six callers ahead of us, Jimmy. You're not helping. Having insurance isn't the same as having State Farm. There to help you anytime, anywhere, any way. That's getting to a better state. Shopping online is as easy as it gets. Wouldn't it be great if hiring plumbers, carpenters, and even piano tuners were just as simple? Thanks to Angie's List, now it is. Start shopping online from a list of top-rated providers. Visit Angie'sList.com today. Hershey's Spreads. Bring the delicious taste of Hershey's chocolate to anything. Everything. With Hershey's Spreads, the possibilities are delicious. Admit it, you never thought you'd see this day. The day you could walk without shooting pain in your back. All because you took the first step and had surgery at Laser Spine Institute. The experts in outpatient minimally invasive neck and back surgery. All it takes is an incision less than one inch and you'll be up and walking within a few hours of surgery and there is no lengthy recovery. If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with spinal stenosis, bulging or herniated disc, sciatica or other chronic conditions, call today for a free MRI review. I woke up in recovery and I was absolutely no pain at all. It's amazing. Now I can get on the bike, I can go anywhere. The Laser Spine Institute gave me my life back. I'm still going strong today because of them. If you've been told you might need neck or back surgery, call 1-855-537-STEP for a free MRI review. Go from a life of pain to a lifetime of living. Laser Spine Institute, the leader in minimally invasive spine surgery. So we're all set? Yep, with Xfinity Internet, your family can use all their devices at once. Works anywhere in the house, even the garage. Max, what's going on? We're doing a tech startup. We're streamlining an algorithm. We're going public! The fastest in-home Wi-Fi for your entire family. The X1 Entertainment Operating System, only from Xfinity. Currently in our area, 90 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High, 89. Chance of rain, 80%. Tonight, thunderstorms early. Low, 77. Chance of rain, 60%. Here's our seven-day outlook. the Weather Channel takes you this far inside a hurricane. Hurricane 360, premiering August 18th at 9 on the Weather Channel. 
Not one, but two hurricanes in line to hit the Hawaiian Islands. The first time in 20 years the islands will see a storm like this one. And the first time ever for the Big Island Weather Center Live, well, it starts right now. back into Weather Center Live. I'm Jen Delgado. And I'm Vivian Brown. Now back to back hurricanes en route to Hawaii. The first of which is expected to make landfall tonight around 8 o'clock Hawaiian time and that's about 2 o'clock Eastern time. 2 o'clock in the morning that is. Yeah that's right. We're talking the big island there. Well, let's show you the very latest on these. Zell. Right now located 300 miles away from Hilo, Hawaii. That's where we have Jim Cantori. Winds right now 80 miles per hour and it's actually looking better today than it was yesterday. So not weakening right now. Moving to the west northwest at 17 miles per hour, and that is Ezel. All right, well, let's give you the very latest on Julio now, right behind Ezel. It is stronger of the two, with winds of 105 miles an hour, moving west at 17 miles per hour. Yeah, that's right. Well, as the Central Hawaiian Islands brace what will be the first landing hurricane in 22 years, history will be made on the big island of Hawaii, and this is not the history we like to see being made. Oh, absolutely not. Isel could be the first hurricane ever for that island, and our own storm tracker, Jim Cantore, is in Hilo with more. This is Kamehameha Avenue here in downtown Hilo, and unfortunately, we have a lot of this. Huge, single-pane glass windows. And we're expecting winds to be as high as 80, 85 miles per hour here. So any kind of blowing debris coming in through here could easily break this glass. Just a couple of people have chosen to board up their windows. Perhaps there will be more of that going on once the sun comes up. We've had some light rain and at times uh, heavy rain, believe it or not, overnight. And when that rain's not here, we can hear off in the distance thunderous waves crashing. As high right now as 25 feet, about 150, 200 miles off to my east. Those will be coming toward the shoreline a little bit later on, potentially even overwash. Uh, the main thoroughfare here in Hilo Bay. Let's talk about the airports. Of course, a lot of people coming in to visit this uh, paradise we call Hawaii. A lot of people leaving as well. Unfortunately, we had the latter going on uh, today as we saw people in droves heading on out uh, from the airport. And a lot of people just didn't want to deal with this storm. They don't want to go through the hassles. Uh, and of course, the airlines were starting to cooperate. They're like, look, we'll give you the change fees free. We'll have you know no problems changing your flight. And if you don't even come out to Hawaii, we'll actually give you a full refund fund, so says Delta. So they were being generous, uh, especially when you think about the price of that airline ticket. We got a chance to talk to one visitor, though, about should he stay or should he go? Did business with in Honolulu yesterday, told me not to come. I said, I'm coming. It's not going to bother me. We're having a great time. We're going to sit outside and enjoy the world. And stick around. Coming up a little bit later on, we'll talk about the role of elevation here. If you've ever flown over these islands, you see they come right up from the sea. And so do the homes, some of them two to 3,000 feet. That means a stronger wind, and we'll talk about that coming up. All right, thank you, Jim Cantori and Hilo. Of course, we'll be keeping close eyes on both of these hurricanes all day and all night. And for everything you need to know about what's happening in the tropics, stay with the Weather Channel. Remember, you can always stay up to date online, weather.com, and on your smartphone or your tablet with the Weather Channel app. And we're going to shift gears for you right now. We're going to take it back to the mainland and over to Vivian with more of what's going on in Missouri. Yeah, because we're watching the Show Me State of Missouri. As you can see, those gray clouds, a little bit of light rain is coming down even in the St. Louis area with temperatures right now in the low to mid 70s. So this is the region of the country that we're watching for the stormy conditions. And we're not talking about tropical storms or hurricane, but definitely severe weather storms as low pressure is moving across the northern parts here of Missouri. And the leading edge to look at the dangerous lightning strikes we have near the boot heel. So dangerous here, but just more or less a solid shield of light to moderate rain that we're finding from just west of Effingham, Illinois, through the St. Louis area, and even points west as you get on I-70. But the farther west you go, it does start to dry out here over the western part of the state, which is good news because we've had so much heavy rain just over the last 24 hours in western and northern Missouri. And then we getting uh, we get somewhat of a break here over northwestern Arkansas, and then it kind of picks up again with these severe-looking storms over the southeastern parts of Oklahoma. 
But this is the pocket that we are watching today for the strong, even severe storms. And when we talk severe today, we're mainly talking about the heavy rains, the hail and the high winds. And even tomorrow now we'll stretch the threat of the storms over to parts of Kentucky and Tennessee. Even the southern parts of Illinois and southern Indiana tomorrow will be watching this area. Pockets of heavier rain, but generally speaking, one to two inch swath expected over the region. And here is the low pressure or the culprit of the stormy conditions that we'll find over parts of the Mid-South. Tomorrow, even on Saturday, we'll push the chance of some showers and storms over parts of central and southern Georgia into Alabama, even Mississippi, and down into Florida as we head into the beginning of the weekend looking for increased chances of storms. Jen? All right, Vivian, we'll look at this video coming in out of Idaho, and you're actually looking at some flooding video. This is after heavy rain came down, and it's not over yet. You can see that McDonald's sign there. I don't think a lot of people were served there when all that rain came through yesterday. So that's part of Idaho, and it's going to continue to be active across parts of the West, even into the upcoming weekend. Well, let's break it down for you and show you exactly what's happening. We have a couple upper-level disturbances really going to be busy across the region from Idaho down towards parts of Denver. And we also have the stalled front. This is going to be where we'll be looking at thunderstorms arriving from Boise to Denver all the way up towards really uh, parts of the Dakotas as well. So this is what's going to be going on for the weekend. As we show you what's happening on the radar right now, overall fairly quiet. You can see some scattered showers out there. But as we go through the afternoon, expect to see more of those storms popping up. And look at some of the numbers that we've been seeing over the last one day in totals. 5.5 inches right in the southern part of Idaho for Northern California. I know you're in extreme drought. You picked up 2.1 inch. You can see right along the Sierra. So that is some good news there. But when the rain comes down so fast like this, problem is so much of it runs off. So that's not so good. As we look at the west, we do have a flash flood watch in effect for parts of Idaho. We just showed you an image coming in of the flooding there where for Idaho Falls. You'll be looking at that as we go through the day. And as we go through today, more of those storms out that you can see for areas in including parts of Colorado, eastern parts of the region, looking at severe chances for today, mainly with some of those stronger winds around tomorrow. A little bit less in scattered coverage, but on Saturday, picks up more, you can see, for Idaho, as well as into Montana, Wyoming, and then even into the Denver region. That's Saturday. And for Denver, here's your forecast, 83 degrees. Hit or miss storms out there for you for Friday, 86. And then on Saturday, late day storms arriving for the Denver area with a high temperature of 87 degrees. Vivian. All right. Well, when we come back, we're going to continue our coverage of the two hurricanes headed for Hawaii. We'll also return to Pilger, Nebraska, where Butler, our therapy dog, is bringing smiles back to the faces of those who need them most. And finally, it's close enough to take a look at the weekend. You know that. Next, find out if the weather is going to cooperate with your weekend plans. In the meantime, again, all eyes are focused on the Hawaiian Islands from the center central islands of Oahu all the way, of course, to the big island. You're looking right now at the waves are on the increase at Kauai. And even as we take you to Honolulu, we're talking about, oh, it's still Kauai, these pictures. Again, becoming a little breezy, but not very windy at all yet, uh, as the storm is a little too far away. But those winds will be on the increase eventually. Here are the storms or hurricanes that we're talking about. The first one is Cell, and it's making its way closer to the Big Island, should reach the Big Island within the next six hours. Currently in our area, 91 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High, 89. Chance of rain, 80%. Tonight, thunderstorms early. Low, 77. Chance of rain, 60%. Here's our seven-day outlook.
15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Everybody knows that. Well, did you know that words really can hurt you? What? Jesse, don't go! Jesse, no! I'm sorry, Daisy, but I'm a loner, and a loner's got to be alone. <laughs> Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. What are you doing? Packing my lunch. Between school, homework, and soccer practice, I'm going to need all the energy I can get. Who's that one for? You. Get a smarter start to school with all your lunch favorites. Unbeatable prices, guaranteed by Savings Catcher. Save money, live better. Walmart. Let's tackle all this with a splash of style. Let's go where they know what matters. Let's do modest budget. Major makeover. Let's do We've Got This. And a whole lot of Look What We Did. Then let's sit back and enjoy the view. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. For a limited time, shop our newest vanity starting at just 189 bucks. With Crizal No Glare lenses, neither water, nor scratch, nor smudge, nor glare of night can keep you from the clearest vision possible. And Crizal has ESPF 25 to protect your eyes from the damaging rays of the sun. Crizal, live life in the clear. Stanley Steamer is the first carpet cleaning service to be certified by the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America, eliminating an average of 94% of common household allergens like dust, pollen, and pet dander. For a cleaner, healthier home. Certified. It's our new standard of clean. Call now about our $99 carpet cleaning special. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer, your certified cleaner. Type 2 diabetes affects millions of us. And for many, it's a struggle to keep your A1C down. So imagine, what if there was a new class of medicine that works differently to lower blood sugar? Imagine loving your numbers. Introducing Once Daily Invokana. It's the first of a new kind of prescription medicine that's used along with diet and exercise to lower blood sugar in adults with type 2 diabetes. Invokana is a once daily pill that works around the clock to help lower A1C. Here's how. The kidneys allow sugar to be absorbed back into the body. Invokana reduces the amount of sugar allowed back in and sends some sugar out through the process of urination. And while it's not for weight loss, it may help you lose some weight. Invokana can cause important side effects, including dehydration, which may cause some people to have loss of body water and salt. This may also cause you to feel dizzy, faint, lightheaded, or weak, especially when you stand up. Other side effects may include kidney problems, genital yeast infections, urinary tract infections, changes in urination, high potassium in the blood, or increases in cholesterol. Do not take Invokana if you have severe kidney problems or are on dialysis or if allergic to Invokana or its ingredients. Symptoms of allergic reaction may include rash, swelling, difficulty breathing or swallowing. If you experience any of these symptoms, stop taking Invokana and call your doctor right away or go to the nearest hospital. Tell your doctor about any medical conditions, medications you are taking, and if you have kidney or liver problems. Using Invokana with the sulfonylurea or insulin may increase risk of low blood sugar. It's time. Lower your blood sugar with Invokana. Imagine loving your numbers. Ask your doctor about Invokana. A deadly tornado this summer. Residents of Pilgrim, Nebraska were left searching through the piles of wreckage where their homes once were. So when Butler, the Weather Channel therapy dog, came along, he gave them a reason to smile again. Here's Jim Cantori with more. Jody Sloniker still has a rough time returning to Pilger, Nebraska. It's hard to be here because it was we. This was our home for so many years. The tornado that took her house took a lot more as well. And I, I don't think I would feel safe anymore here. Sloniker and her youngest kids, Cameron and Samantha, were home at the time the tornado hit. And I looked out the window, and I really it hit me right then that this was not a this was not going to be something that we were going to 
come out of really easy. I just remember like us laying on the bunk bed and then my mom tell, telling us to hold on. At that point, the sirens went off. And within minutes, you heard the Sound, and it was shaking our house and I told him to hang on and then after that you just lay there and you heard everything upstairs crashing and the, the wood twisting and almost screaming and then right after that there was just this suctioning noise and the house was just off. It looked like we were on a Hollywood set of a like the day after movie. So Butler, the Weather Channel therapy dog, gave these kids a reason to smile. Nope. <laughs> Ready? Again. Can I have that stick? Here you go. <laughs> Butler's cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Butler's awesome. You guys wore him out. <laughs> Kyle! This is the pulley to the garage. Found some more! I found that picture. Kyle in his football uniform standing next to Grandma. Grandpa. It was over in the rock pile. I found it. Oh we keep it? God, absolutely. That is probably the best find we have had ever. You're welcome, Mom. Thank you. Good job. ending like that. Residents coming together and Butler is out there bringing a little bit of cheer to those folks. They certainly need that. Right now we're going to turn it over to Vivian. We like to see stories like that. Oh, we absolutely do. But here's a story that we don't like to see. More families out of their homes as a fire near Rowena, Oregon burns. Now it began as a small brush fire Tuesday night and has grown into a 2,000 acre fire. Due to the rough terrain, crews have taken to the air to knock down some of the flames. So far, no homes have burned, but a shelter has been set up to help families forced to evacuate. Okay, here's a look at the forecast now. This weekend, maybe more rain in Oregon. Unfortunately, not so much as dry conditions still in the forecast on Saturday. The bulk of the rain will be from Montana down into New Mexico. And then look at all of this rain over the Mississippi Valley, and actually some lighter showers will move back into the central and western parts of Virginia. North Carolina. Much of the same on Sunday, too, maybe making its way all the way to the coast. Jennifer, back to you. All right. Thank you, Vivian. Well, two hurricanes heading towards my uh, Hawaii today. The first hurricane, Izell, is getting very close, just hours away. And get this, a magnitude 4.3 earthquake has just struck just northwest of the Big Island, about 100 kilometers to the northeast of Hilo. And we do know the depth right now is roughly about 7.5 miles. Of course, we'll continue to bring you updates information and track the twin hurricanes as they head towards Hawaii. And of course, Hawaii is made up of several islands, but do you know which island has the largest population? Well, they'd answer right after the break. Need new tires? At Pep Boys, our tires made easy process matches your vehicle with a tire that's just right for you. And right now at Pep Boys, when you buy three select tires, you'll get the fourth tire free. Trust the boys to get you there. connected to more of what you love.
Currently in our area, 91 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High, 89. Chance of rain, 80%. Tonight, thunderstorms early. Low, 77. Chance of rain, 60%. Here's our seven-day outlook. Minor damage or major disaster. When you need us most, we're there. State Farm. We're a force of nature, too. Did you lose the lid for those leftovers? That one's too big. This one's too small. Introducing Mr. Lid, the one and only container with an attached lid. Neat and clean and totally green. The secret is the patented lid design with a seal-safe hinge. Not available on any other container anywhere. Air and bacteria spoil food. Nasty and a waste of money. Durable Mr. Lid is airtight. The seal-safe hinge locks in freshness so food lasts longer. That's a waste of space. But with Mr lid it's like having an extra cabinet look this container fell it's a disaster but drop mr lid and it stays perfectly sealed bpa free mr lid is microwave and dishwasher safe plus it's non-toxic and it's great for packing the little one's lunch the lid never gets lost bring it to parties for chips and dip in the garage store nuts and bolts keep fido's food fresh store toys for the boys or arts and crafts stop spending hundreds of dollars buying flimsy containers and cut Countless hours searching for lost lids. Now through this special TV offer, you get four small, two medium, two large, and two extra large Mr. Lids with attached lids all for just $10. But wait, call right now and get a second set free. Just pay separate processing. Mr. Lid also comes with an ironclad 100% satisfaction guarantee. Try it for 60 days. If you don't absolutely love it, send it back. You get it all. 20 Mr. Lids with attached lids and the satisfaction guarantee guarantee and $80 value all for just $10. Also ask about the supersized value set which includes the salad container with a spill-proof snap-in cup. Perfect for on the go. What would you rather have? This or this? For the one and only container with an attached lid, call or click now. Do order go 1-800-5. Living with chronic migraine feels like each day is a game of chance. I wanted to put the odds in my favor, so my doctor told me about Botox, an FDA-approved treatment that significantly reduces headache days for adults with chronic migraine, 15 or more headache days a month, each lasting four hours or more. It's proven to actually prevent headache days, and it's injected by my doctor once every three months. The effects of Botox may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulty swallowing speaking breathing eye problems or muscle weakness can be a sign of a life-threatening condition side effects may include allergic reactions neck and injection site pain fatigue and headache don't take botox if you have a skin infection tell your doctor about your medical history muscle or nerve conditions and medications including botulinum toxins as these may increase the risk of serious side effects put the odds on your side visit botoxchronicmigraine.com to learn how to save on your treatment Talk to a headache specialist today about Botox. 5-266-2838 now. That's 1-855-266-2838. Mondays, only the Weather Channel takes you this far. Inside a hurricane. Hurricane 360, premiering August 18th at 9 on the Weather Channel. 
want to update you on what we've been following. An earthquake has shook across parts of Hawaii. Right now, it's located about 50 miles away from Hilo, Hawaii. That happened uh, roughly about 20 minutes ago. 4.5 magnitude, a bit shallow, too. And it looks like it's seven miles in depth. Right now, we're looking at the shake map and not seeing if any reports of any damage there. But certainly, you don't want to hear about an earthquake when you're also anticipating two hurricanes heading in your direction. And right now, we asked you before the break about which island is the most populous, and Vivian has the answer. Yeah, the answer is Oahu. Now, according to the 2013 census, just over 980,000 people live on the island of Oahu, and that's nearly three-fourths of the state's population. Yeah, and right now, here's a live look at Oahu right now. You can start to see some of the waves trying to kick up just a little bit. This is actually out of Honolulu. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look so bad right now. Of course, this is not on the big island, but mm -hmm. the weather conditions will be deteriorating oh, as we go through the day. Definitely deteriorating. Those beautiful palm trees that are so indigenous to Hawaii are definitely going to be swaying over mm -hmm. the next several hours. Okay, conditions on the big island will begin going downhill over the next few hours. That's right. We turn over to Carl Parker. He's standing by at the expert desk with the latest on the track and the strength of the two hurricanes that are threatening Hawaii. Yeah, and this really is a remarkable event. When we look at the record, which goes back to 1950, there has never been a hurricane landfall on the big island of Hawaii, and we may see one later tonight. Here's the latest on a cell. It's now an 80 mile per hour storm. It's moving off to the west northwest at 17 miles per hour, and we'll take a look at the advisories that are now out. Tropical storm warnings in effect for most of the islands, including Oahu, but a hurricane warning for the big island of Hawaii and the storm will be moving in tonight. Conditions really going downhill this afternoon. Hawaii time. They are six hours behind the East Coast and a 65 mile per hour storm along the Big Island early tomorrow morning, then probably passing just to the south of Oahu and Honolulu. But certainly they could get in on very strong wind, uh, easily 50, 60 mile per hour wind there. There's the water vapor image and notice how even though drier air has really surrounded the system that's indicated by that orange and red shading it has managed to stay intact and you see how the thunderstorms uh, continue to persist near that center so this thing has been a real fighter as it's come across some relatively hostile conditions in the Pacific Ocean and we think there's a very good chance that it will remain a hurricane as it makes landfall later tonight or gets very close to doing so and there's a look at the sustained winds now in Hawaii they're not very strong but in Hilo they're going to be picking up this afternoon Hawaii time that's going to be later tonight Eastern time and there you see winds getting up to 55 57 miles per hour 6 to 8 p.m. that means easily gusting to hurricane force and especially as you get up in elevation they're going to be a lot stronger the winds really pick up as you get away from the ground and there are a lot of people who live at higher elevations there in the islands. Talking about the rainfall, there's not a lot of it right now, but we're beginning to see some of the weather associated with that hurricane now coming into the focus of the radar beam. And so we're going to see a lot more of this over the next several hours. And we're also going to watch as strong northeast winds drive into these higher elevations. Now, the mountains actually get as high as nearly 14,000 feet on the Big Island. And because that airflow is directed upward, that cools the air even more, creates even and more condensation and then precipitation it enhances the rainfall and the result we think is going to be very heavy rain talking about easily several inches in a lot of areas ladies back to you all right thanks very much carl the latest of course on these two tropical systems two hurricanes that we're watching because hawaii continues to brace for both of them yeah they're coming one behind the other and residents hopefully you are prepared Currently in our area, 91 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High, 89. Chance of rain, 80%.
tonight. Thunderstorms early, low 77. Chance of rain, 60%. Here's our seven-day outlook. Hurricane Ezel is nearing Hawaii. The worst weather is expected tonight. Strong winds, flooding, and landslides are likely. Storm tracker Jim Cantori is in Hilo ahead of the storm. Jim. Hello from Hilo, Hawaii here. We are right on Kamehameha Avenue uh, in the downtown area. Of course, the worst conditions will be coming in later on tonight, but people are starting to take those conditions seriously. They're expecting winds to gust as high as 80 miles per hour, and that's just here at sea level. We'll talk about what's going to happen going up, and we'll talk about what's going on at some of the stores here locally. Stick around. All right, thanks, Jim. And also, as we bring you back to the mainland, the Midwest is getting slammed by storms. Dangerous winds, dangerous hailstones are the primary threats. We're tracking this severe weather into the evening hours. Weather Center Live continues. Well, each hour the clock is ticking. In less than six hours, people in Hawaii will start to feel the impacts from Hurricane Isel. Thanks for joining us on the Weather Channel. I'm Vivian Brown. And I'm Jen Delgado. The Category 1 hurricane is streaming towards the Big Island in what could become a historic event. Now, the Big Island has never been directly hit by a hurricane on record. It was hit by a tropical depression, but that was back in 1958, a long time ago. Yeah, and right behind Isel, we have another hurricane. This one, a Category 2 with winds of 105 miles an hour. Its name is Julio. So as you can imagine, people there are taking, are not taking this threat mm -hmm. lightly. And if that wasn't enough, we have a hurricane to tell you. I mean, a, an earthquake, earthquake to tell you about. Can yeah, you believe this? Yeah, too many this? natural things going on I right know, now. Natural disasters, pretty much, mm -hmm. on the east coast of the Big Island and, of course, approaching uh, the uh, other coast. We're talking about a hurricane now. This is the Big Island where you see that uh, red shaded uh -huh area. That's where we've had the earthquake reports of within the hour. It is a 4.5 on the magnitude scale. And I'll tell you what, it is not that deep. So that is probably the best thing about this. Yeah, that's right. And of course, we've got Ezel and Julio cover like no one else can. Hurricane mm -hmm. Specialist Carl Parker is in the expert area and storm tracker Jim Cantori on the ground in Hilo ahead of the double trouble. We begin with Carl Parker and Carl, just how strong is the storm right now? Mm -hmm. Well, right now it's an 80 mile per hour storm. It has been remarkable remarkably persistent in terms of its intensity, though it's been uh, fending off dry air. A lot of things have been working against it, but it has held on to its hurricane intensity over the last few days, and we think it's entirely possible that it will be a hurricane as it moves in later tonight. And we generally do not get a lot of hurricanes in Hawaii. You got to go back to 1959 for one that moved right across Kauai. Then there was Iwa in 1982, a Category 2, and then Aniki. That was the one that by far had the most devastating impact, even though these other storms were stronger storms at one point, Aniki was the only one that actually made landfall as a Category 4 and caused very serious damage. But notice that all of these storms came from the south because to the south of Hawaii, the water temperatures are warmer and that's where uh, hurricanes and tropical systems can thrive. To the east of the islands, it's generally cooler, it's generally drier, and the water temperatures are generally lower. And for that reason, it's really rare to get one approaching from the east. So let's take a look at what's going on with the storms right now. There is a cell will be moving into the Big Island later tonight. Then you've got Julio well off to the east of that. That may pass to the north of the islands late this weekend. There's a closer look at a cell and again it has been tenacious, just remarkably persistent area of thunderstorms about that core. Hurricane hunters uh, now flying out and into the system. We'll see what they find but what we think is that that strong wind begun, begins to come in to the Big Island later tonight, uh, our time, and this afternoon and this evening, Hawaii time. Back to you. All right. Well, as Ziel is just a few hours away from hitting Hawaii, another hurricane, Julio, is right on its hills. It's been 22 years since Hawaii had a landfalling hurricane, but for the first time, the Big Island has actually going to be looking at a major tropical system. A hurricane warning is in effect, and our Jim Cantori is in Hilo ahead of the hurricane.
at least for right now, a break in the rain, but the rain and the wind expected to pick up here in Hilo as we go on through the day. And of course, tonight, 8 p.m., uh, we expect the center to come very, very close uh, to Hilo. Will this be the first landfalling hurricane in history on the Big Island? Time will tell. Time will definitely tell. Well, people are preparing regardless of the strength of this because we know there will be impacts, probably a lot of power loss, not only here in the Big Island, but throughout the entire island chain as tropical storm watches exist uh, out into Kauai right now. Let's show you what people have been doing since Tuesday, and it's mainly clearing shelves, getting as much as they can off of the shelves in terms of water, batteries, bread, uh, those kind of things where they know they're going to be without power for several days, and they know they have to, obviously, especially being on a tropical climate, you need water. So people have really been hoarding the water. As a matter of fact, several stores have run out of water. A few have actually even run out of gasoline as well, we understand, as people are gassing up their cars. And these are all things that we want you to do. We got a chance to talk to a resident about how they feel about Izel and Julio. We kind of uh, made, made sure everything is all locked up um, and, and buckled down. Um, we put our car all in the garage and then get the water ready, flashlight. And just as soon as we <laughs> take a breath here, the rains have begun again, and we're going to see more and more of that as uh, we go on through the day today, that's for sure. So I encourage everybody to get those last-minute preparations done. Now, one of the things we have to talk about here is elevation because it's going to play a key role in what kind of wind and what kind of damage we see with this hurricane. Now, if you look at the elevation, uh, certainly the islands were all at sea level, right? We start off at the coastline right at sea level, but some go right up from the coast immediately. In some cases, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 thousand feet. It's a gradual climb here on the east side of the Big Island, up uh, Mauna Lea and Mauna Kea, and certainly uh, people live here. So there are entire communities sitting at those elevations. But the problem is, you have an 80 mile per hour hurricane here in downtown Hilo, you have a 105 mile an hour hurricane up 2,000 feet. That's the big difference. You get away from the friction of the earth, and it's a big, big difference in through here. So we're worried a lot uh, for those kind of, fo you know, those folks that are going to be dealing with those stronger winds aloft. Time will tell us to what we deal with here and what kind of power losses we uh, are going to endure. But one thing's for sure, people are ready for this one-two punch of Izel and Julio as we work our way through the latter part of the weekend. It all begins right now. Guys, back to you. All right, thank you, Jim. And Jim actually filed that report before the 4.5 earthquake hit, mm -hmm. so it'll be interesting to find out whether or not he did feel that. But, you know, Jim is mm -hmm. not superhuman. He does need sleep, and he'll be reporting live a little bit later on. All right, well, stay with us here on the Weather Channel. But, of course, if you have to leave your TV set, you can follow the latest on the tropics and the earthquake by going to weather.com or on your cell phone, your smartphone, Smart. <laughs> the Weather Channel app. Under the roof of a home or business, damage can happen. When it does, turn to the specialists who put help in the palm of your hand. The Ready App and Emergency Response Plans from 1 800 Serve Pro. Like it never even happened. How about over there? What does it mean to have an unlimited mileage warranty on a certified pre owned Mercedes Benz? What does it mean to drive as far as you want for up to three years and be covered? It means your odometer is there to record the memories. During the Mercedes-Benz Certified Pre-Owned Sales event, now through September 2nd, you'll get complimentary prepaid maintenance and may qualify for a two-month payment credit. Only at your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer. Listen up, Thunder Dragons. It's time to get a hotel. Hey, Razor, check this out. We can save big with Priceline Express deal. You know what, man? These guys ain't no dragons. They're cool. These deals are legit. Hey, we're cool. She's cool. We're cool. This summer on NBCSN, the boats are in the water, the fish are on the hook, and there's money on the line. Two great shows, one big night. Bust the move, baby! That's how you do it! Shark Hunters, every Wednesday at 9, followed by the all-new Fish Mavericks at 10 on NBCSN. Currently in our area, 91 degrees under partly cloudy skies.
today. Thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High 89. Chance of rain 80%. Tonight, thunderstorms early. Low 77. Chance of rain 60%. Here's our seven-day outlook. Right now, Hawaii is in the path of two severe storms. Our own Jim Cantori is live from the islands, tracking this rare threat. Keep it here on the Weather Channel. For you two, house special. Lovely fruit-flavored infusions. <laughs> Ah, an excellent choice. A true classic. Allow me. It's back to school time and back to the morning rush. And for you. Or not. Take out. <laughs> well, my compliments to the chef. <laughs> Get a smarter start to school with Kellogg cereals and Jimmy Dean breakfast favorites. Fed and ready for the world. Unbeatable prices guaranteed by Savings Catcher. Save money, live better. Walmart. Hey, pal. You ready? Can you pick me up at 6.30? Ah. I'm here, I'm here. Too late. I'll go for five minutes. Ah. Move it. Killing me. You know what, Dad? I'm good. It may be quite a while before he's ready, but our Subaru Legacy will be waiting for him. The longest-lasting midsize sedan in its class. Introducing the all-new Subaru Legacy. It's not just a sedan, it's a Subaru. Zantac Heartburn Alert. Stop. Nexium can take 24 hours to work. Zantac's different. Zantac rushes relief in as little as 30 minutes. For relief without the wait, try Zantac. No pill relieves heartburn faster. Well, strong storms came through Missouri yesterday. Look at the rain coming down. Some areas picked up three to five inches of rain. You can see the wind whipping it around as well. We told you about that yesterday, and it looks like we're going to see even more of that. Yesterday, that was in the western part of the state, and this time, we're going to see it popping up towards the east, including areas like St. Louis. Now, it won't be just Missouri. Here's Vivian to tell us what to expect from these storms today. Yeah, what a stormy afternoon we've seen, and unfortunately, setting the stage for even more of that. Case in point, St. Louis, right now, we have the overcast conditions. We've had the wet weather off to your east and to your west, so you're kind of in the middle of the overall wet conditions that we're finding as we look at the radar. So the storm threat for the Midwest, that is the top weather story. As Jennifer mentioned, we've had heavy amounts already, mainly over the northern and western part of the state. Look at this, near the state border of Kansas, we picked up almost six inches of rain. And by the way, downtown St. Louis, since midnight, we've had two and a half inches. And as you can see, the rain Radar still shows some lines of light rain kind of sliding off to the east and there is more rain to your west St. Louis so I know you won't put your umbrella up just yet because you can see to the western sky we're finding more rain and we're really not getting any true breaks of sunshine across this region and even to the north now around the Springfield area we're picking up some rain over the central parts of Illinois and then we notice as we follow the cold front down south across parts of northwestern Arkansas and we've really been watching this batch of heavy rain with some embedded convection with these storms, dangerous lightning strikes as they move south and east across the extreme southeastern parts of Oklahoma. So this is a pocket of real estate that we will watch for the rest of the day today for those storms. And even tomorrow now, we'll kind of spread it out into parts of southern Illinois, southern Indiana, and look at a good part of western and central Kentucky and Tennessee looking for the chance of those storms turning severe tomorrow. So generally speaking, with some of the heavier downpours, one to two inch accumulations and in some of the rain gauges, and even some pockets now of an additional two to three inches are expected. So your specific forecast, St. Louis, stormy today, as we've seen already on radar, and then even tomorrow, but finally we get a break. Perfect timing, just in time for the weekend. Saturday, partly sunny, with temperatures in the low to mid 80s. Jennifer? All right, thank you, Vivian. Yeah, they'll be happy to see the sky brightening up in St. Louis and right now nothing wrong with the view in Atlanta it looks great out there but if you read the temperature 91 degrees well we got a problem it's going to be hot today hottest day of the year so far for the summer in the southeast well you're going to be looking at storms moving in to your forecast as we go through this weekend here it is you just saw this view with Vivian this is the satellite imagery showing you our next storm that's going to be diving down towards the south 
and that's what's going to be bringing us rain. Right now, it's already kicking up storms across parts of southern parts of Missouri, but as we go into the weekend, this low, we're also looking at this boundary system that's going to be diving down towards the south, and it's going to be parking there, and that means rain around for today as well as tomorrow, even into the upcoming weekend. What you know, it always seems like it rains for the weekend across parts of Georgia as well as into Alabama. You're going to see it around for Friday as well as into Saturday in the darker shades of green. That's where we're going to be looking at the heavier downpours, and that includes parts of the Carolinas as well as into Atlanta. Even Tampa area, you could be looking at some heavier rainfall as well. For Nashville today, 93 degrees, hit or miss storms out there. Cooler on Friday with a high of 87 on Saturday, 89. And then Sunday, we pop right back up to 90 degrees. And then on Monday, it looks like it's going to be a little bit cooler for Atlanta at 94 today. So be prepared for the heat out there and even tomorrow as well. But some storms out there by Friday. Over to you, Vince. All right, thanks, Jennifer. Well, history in the making with two hurricanes eyeing Hawaii's Big Island. Ahead, hurricane specialist Carl Parker joins us as we keep a close eye on the tropics. And not only are we talking about hurricanes, but an earthquake earthquake has hit to the western parts of the Big Island. There you see Hurricane Isel as it approaches the east coast there of the Big Island. So from the east coast to the west coast, we have natural disasters. More details next. At Panera Bread, our new flatbread sandwiches may be flat. The flavors are anything but. So whether it's taste inspired by the freshness of the Mediterranean, or the smoky spice of the Southwest. Or bold, adventurous Thai flavors. You always get flavor that's anything but flat. And always with chicken raised without antibiotics. New flatbread sandwiches from Panera. Each 360 calories or less. Try one today. Ugh, heartburn. Did someone say burn? Try Alka-Seltzer Relief Chews. They work just as fast and are proven smoothies supported fruit. Mmm, amazing. Yeah. Alka-Seltzer Heartburn Attention. For a limited time only, you can own a Premier Care and Bathing walk-in bath or easy access shower for payments as low as $150 per month. I wanted to live in my home and Premier Care helped. I have never been more safe in my life. Thousands of customers have made Premier Care and Bathing the leader in walk-in baths and easy access showers. And Premier Care has been commended by the Arthritis Foundation. Exclusive hydrovescent therapy uses thousands of tiny champagne-like air bubbles that improve circulation and ease aches and pains with the push of a button. Our Premier Care Promise is backed by more than 25 years installation and service. I love my Premier Care Woken Bath. Call 1-800-510-6932 to get your free brochure today. Plus, for a limited time only, Premier Care and Bathing is offering payments as low as $150 per month. That's 1-800-510-6932. Premier Bath is the best gift I ever gave to myself. Mondays, only the Weather Channel takes you this far inside a hurricane. It's just total chaos. If you think you've seen it all, look again. What's wrong with my hair? Everything. It's like a disaster. It's always too high. It's, there's some girth there. It's yeah. meaty. Your hair is not meaty. It's, it's meaty. meaty. Shave it off to like the sides. He can't shave his head. He's got a peanut shaped head. <laughs> <laughs> the Sorrentinos. Tuesdays at 10, 9 central. Only on TVGN. HH Gregg Appliances and Electronics now has furniture, fitness equipment, and more. In the grip of muscle aches or arthritis pain? Break the grip with odor-free Aspercream. Maximum strength medicine clinically proven to relieve muscle and joint pain fast. With no odor, so all you notice is relief. Aspercream, break the grip of pain. If you struggle with back pain, you have the power to turn it off with this. New Smart Relief from Icy Hot. Turn on relaxing pulses that quickly block even chronic back pain. It's wireless, reusable, and easy to use. Turn on Smart Relief and turn off pain. Only Medicare Supplement Insurance Plans endorsed by AARP. Don't wait. Call now. Only the Weather Channel drops you into nature's deadliest predicaments and asks, so you think you'd survive? Oh, my God! Premiering Sunday at 9 on the Weather Channel.
Currently in our area, 90 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High, 89. Chance of rain, 80%. Tonight, thunderstorms early. Low, 77. Chance of rain, 60%. Here's our seven-day outlook. And now for the latest on the double hurricanes that we are tracking in the Pacific Ocean. And right now, it looks like Ezel is actually still looking pretty good and heading towards the island as a hurricane. Yeah, Ezel is actually a very healthy storm considering all that it's been through. Mm -hmm. It's been surrounded by dry air, which tends to kill off mm -hmm. the thunderstorms. And it has managed to fend that off. And here's a look at the latest from the Central Pacific Hurricane Center. An 80 mile per hour storm now moving west northwest at 17 miles per hour. And those thunderstorms again hanging on. So it is maintaining itself at this point and there's really no reason to believe that it won't be mm -hmm. either a hurricane or a very strong tropical storm as it makes landfall on the big island and that would be very late tonight uh, maybe even overnight uh, Hawaii time now we want to look inside these clouds what we're looking at here are the tops of the thunderstorm mm -hmm. clouds and we can actually look inside the storm this is microwave imagery Mm -hmm. And this is the closest thing that we have to a radar picture when we don't actually have a radar, which we right. don't weigh out over the open water of the Pacific Ocean. And what we're looking at there is the eye wall of the system. But notice also the turning that's going on in a much larger area through there. Right. That is the wind field. That's uh -huh. the area of strong winds. And that's what's going to be coming in through the course of the evening. Now, here we are looking at the modeled winds going into this afternoon. This is Hawaii Standard Time, so that's 4 o'clock o'clock Hawaii time, that would be 10 o'clock Eastern time. Winds picking up in Hilo, 20 to 25 miles per hour. And then as the core of the storm nears the island, winds getting up to 50, 60 miles wow. per hour sustained. Mm -hmm. That means gusting to hurricane force. Also really getting going there on Maui, uh -huh. Kaolui, 40 to 50 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. And then late tonight, overnight tonight, that's when the storm makes landfall on the Big Island. We see the winds switch around, come out of the south as opposed right. to the northeast in Hilo. Mm -hmm. Still 50 to 60 miles per hour. And then they start to pick up tomorrow morning as the sun is coming up in Honolulu. Mm -hmm. And that's where most of uh, Hawaii's residents are. Right. About a million of them live on Oahu. 50 to 60 miles per hour. That means, again, perhaps gusting to hurricane force. And that continues through the middle of the day tomorrow. And uh, then the storm finally starts to pull away. Now that is the wind at the surface. Right. But wind exists at several levels of the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And when you get up off the ground, you don't have the frictional effects. Right. And therefore the stronger. wind is even stronger. So looking at the big island here, which is 14,000 feet tall, there are a lot of people who live up at higher elevations. Mm -hmm. So say we've got a 70 mile per hour wind right at the surface. Without those frictional effects, you get up to 1,000 feet, it's going to be an 85 mile per hour in wind. And then when you get up to 2,000 feet, it's mm -hmm. going to be a 100 mile mile per hour wind so it gets a lot stronger so the risk for wind damage will be much higher for those people who live up in the mountains there. right a lot of people up there certainly people need to be cautious out there yep. and we're going to continue to track what's going on with our double hurricane and maybe you can toss this over to vivian because i've lost my voice all at right this point. viv over to you <laughs> all right thank you both i'll tell you what two hurricanes are threatening the hawaiian islands right now as they mentioned and that could become a historic event the big island has never been directly hit by a hurricane on record since record have been kept. So joining us on the phone right now is Erica Engel with the Honolulu Star, an advertiser newspaper. Thanks so much for joining us, Erica. Now, uh, we have about two minutes, and I want you to tell me everything about the state of mind, the preparation, what's going on in Honolulu right now. Well, I, I think I speak for the entire state when uh, we are all on pins and needles. Uh, mm -hmm. There is a state of alarm that has resulted in, in somewhat of a, a panic. I mean, stores have run out of bottled water, even though 
water pumps are still working and people could fill up their own containers at home, you walk into a store, whether it's a grocery store or a big box membership store, and bottled water is like gone. Yes, which, we're looking at video yeah. right now of people just flooding the stores, but not a whole yes. lot on the shelves right now. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. it's, it's a little unsettling. Um, more unsettling is, is just listening to your, your experts talking about mm. the frictional effect and higher elevations. Uh, I had not previously been quite so concerned about the uh, astronomical observatories mm. on the tops of Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea as I am right now. Uh, those are some, some very important uh, in terms of international importance, uh, very important facilities up there. So I, I am hoping that they weather the storm without significant damage. All right. Well, Erica, thank you yeah. so much for sharing uh, everything that's going on, the state of mind, the attitudes of folks in Hawaii. Certainly, we'll continue to keep you in your prayers and keep you up to date on the latest. People love. Now that's progressive. Call or click.